you could you could be at your best place spiritually and those things could still happen to you so if you've experienced all of those things that i just named and you are a follower of christ it does not mean you are a weak link in god like it is a normal human emotion and feeling And it's a good thing, I say. I'm excited for that. And it's a good thing. I don't know. Peak boy. I just think you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But. All I right, you guys. Welcome back to another channel. <laughs> you are still peaking. <laughs> to another channel. Yeah, please go to another channel because this one's struggling. I'm just saying. Okay, welcome back to another YouTube video. Welcome back to. <laughs> Now. Welcome back to uh, another channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on that note. Wow. <laughs> that was not your the, the last part of that sentence with or your like W's were really long. Uh, anyways, let's do this again. Hello guys, <laughs> welcome back to another video. Welcome, welcome, and welcome, bienvenidos. If this is new for you. <laughs> We're doing terrible. Do this again. Okay. You're better. You're better at this. I'm not. Go for it. <laughs> My W's are so long. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. You guys. So good to see y'all. Welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, hello. Welcome. My hello, name hello. is Fritzy. And this is... Alfredo. Yeah. And, and we are siblings. We're not siblings. He's my husband. From Alabama. Babe. Right. It could be offensive to someone from Alabama. That's true. But we are from Alabama. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Welcome back. Subscribe, yeah. like. Um, Comment, share. Comment, share. It is pretty good. We're, we're going to do our best in this video to not um, have such a YouTube robotic voice because that really is a thing. Yes, it And is. I don't like it. And I think I'm going to try to talk without my hands going all over the place because my last or our last video that we did, I was... Were you? I didn't really PB know. PB&J. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, uh, we will put it down below in the description box. So you could click on it or actually we'll be at the end of the video. So. And for those that are new here, our, our YouTube channel just right for right now because of the season we're in, our, our YouTube channel is just based off just our life. Uh, but just if you're going through grief, this is a great opportunity to subscribe because um, that's something we're going through right now. And yeah. it's just... It's good to kind of share back and forth what how you guys have found some, you know, ways to heal and overall mm. yeah. better. Yeah, and your grief journey and just to build a community around grief. But mm -hmm. uh, there was this question that really caught our eye and we want to answer it. We wanted to make it a video. Yeah, so we were like, what better way than to answer it than on here? So the question read... How do y'all manage to be okay with each other while you both grief in your own ways? You want to answer that, please? Yeah, I could go ahead and start. How do y'all manage to be okay with each other while you both grief in your own ways? So, uh, I feel like I definitely, the way I grieve is a lot different than how Alfredo's. <clears throat> Alfredo, I grieve different. Yeah. I think Alfredo is more so I'm going to stay busy, uh, kind of keep my mind busy. I'm going to work, dive into work. He suppresses a lot or just kind of holds it in and, and sometimes doesn't express it. We're asked to, I think I... Which is kind of the norm thing to do as a man. To yeah. To be the strong guy. Yeah, or, but we're trying to be different than society, but that's... I'll get, I'll get there Yeah, we'll later. talk about that in a bit. We're asked to, I, I'm more of, I give myself time. I've been in the season of where I've, I'm get, I'm allowing myself to feel, quote unquote. And but how, how are you allowing yourself to feel? Like, what are things that you do? Uh, well, I think if I want to cry, I will literally cry and <laughs> just allow myself to cry if i just want to but does anything make you cry right now like in the in the season that you're in uh like are you in a place right now where just anything could just kind of yeah absolutely i think we've been very <clears throat> really sensitive lately mm. which is like it's a lot because holidays just passed and that's already 
really triggering and sensitive and we're coming up in March in a in a few well March is like down the around the corner kind of we're in January and March is when April passed truth is though something's always coming up and in grief yeah 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 we yeah yeah I lost my train of thought sorry just casually rubbing my back no I remember now I'm not struggling I'm not what do you mean I'm not struggling with what what are you with struggling with? Because I lost my train of thought, and then after that, I'm just like. So, mm-hmm. so what are mm-hmm. things that you do mm-hmm. to? It's okay. We're gonna lose our train of thought. What are the things that you do to? To be okay. Together and individually. I don't know. Grief sucks. But like, what sucks about it? Everything. I know we say everything. I'm not but even gonna front. <laughs> Alfredo stays busy all the time. That's how he copes with grief. And it could be okay and not okay at the same time. There's, it's going to be a real honest conversation. I um, I feel angry sometimes. I allow anxiety to overwhelm me. Um, how do we manage to be okay? Sometimes we're not okay with each other. It gets hard sometimes. We had to learn that the moments when... We have not been okay. Those are the moments when we've learned how to be okay. Yeah. And how to get there to be okay, if that makes sense. It's like we had to have those moments to say, wait, we don't want that. We don't want to be that. We're here to break generational curses. And that's not for us. But at the same time, how do you manage to listen to each other and without the thought of becoming almost yeah clearly we both relate to the tragic what happened to you know our yes. situation mm-hmm. but we experienced it different right just because we experienced it different even though we still know it was the same the, the, the similar trial if we're not careful, sometimes I could be too inclusive mm. to your mm-hmm. hurt. The times it really, really sucks for us is when we're both not like. There's really those days where we're both not t- where we're both tired, not strong, we're weak, and it sucks because me as a man, I need to be the man. I need to, you know, be the head of this house, and I need to just be in a better spiritual, in a better place spiritually. And sometimes I'm not. So then I beat myself up about it. But what are you thinking about? I feel like you're in your mind. No, I just... And grief ain't got to be all deep either. Sometimes we get too deep into it that we just stuck. You think so? Yes. Like, if you're not careful, you can create a tent. Not saying that we have created... There has been seasons where we have... And I know we're drifting off a little bit with the question. No, but I think it it all ties to that question. Uh, and truth is, I think grief is like really, really hard on a person, and just like let alone a, a marriage. I think grief can bring out the best in you, but it could also it can also bring out the worst, for sure. And it could test you like pushing your limits for sure like as a marriage as a person and what are some of the worst thing it has brought into our marriage that we could talk about or that we feel comfortable talking about uh i mean a lot i think it's brought in general let me speak in general first in general it's brought it's a lot of layers Mm-hmm. It's brought like it's brought hurt, the obvious. It's brought pain, anger, bitterness, loneliness, isolation, anxiety, fear, unforgiveness. unforgiveness. Like there's so many layers to grief, and you could you could be at your best place spiritually, 
and those things could still happen to you so if you've experienced all of those things that i just named and you are a follower of christ it does not mean you are a weak link in god like it is a normal human emotion and feeling that you experience through grief but all those things like can uh be transferred into like the marriage part yeah like one thing i heard prematurely into the journey just hearing from nurses and just comments people pastors friends whatever about you know just be careful not blaming each other or blaming Mm -hmm. yourselves and i actually never got that thought in my head till recently in our life in our seasons of all of this like just now I'm starting to get in a position where I'm starting to blame myself for certain things and and that's clearly not a good perspective because then it can get dark right but you don't want to I'm just like kind of over grief I don't know (laughs) because I'm like then do we have to struggle all like is why like we always got to be struggling about something I mean, I think on this earth, it's just part of the human experience is is struggling. And struggle is, I don't know, there's so much to talk about that (laughs) I want to just like go back or go into every layer. But I want to go back to what you were saying. Yeah. And you were talking about the marriage thing about, um, I said that some of the thoughts that come into me was, or now that are coming in three years into grief is blaming myself for certain things Mm -hmm. because now that I'm in a place where it actually is calm yeah there's nothing traumatic happening in our life we've just been in a fight or flight yeah for so long Uh, yeah and that makes a lot of sense there's nothing traumatic going on there's no really quote-unquote tension we're just used to going on that now the non-traumatic the silence became traumatic to us now it's loud the silence is is loud loud. yeah and it's a hard place to be in and and i'm not i don't want to be a victim i refuse to be a victim but we are not no victims no, but it's it's just part of... Uh, I'm struggling. What are you struggling with? About what? Because I'm telling you, right now, I know you're struggling with getting thoughts out with the video, because I am too. So I'm just trying to pretend like I know what I'm about to say, but I don't. So <laughs> this is the moment where you just subscribe, because there's really nothing going on. I'm just kidding. No, um... It's just difficult because you have to be careful if you're in growing up for me i was i always got caught up with like victimizing myself so my life was typically something always bad was happening in my life so i've i grew up thinking not no more but i grew up thinking oh something's bad is always going to happen something bad is going to happen because i've just grew up from you know so many different dramatic episodes that I had to witness that we'll dive in more. But if you're not careful, you, you can really stay in there. Because, and that mindset. And that mindset. <clears throat> and that was something that, for me now, it, it encourages me and it influences me more to just go after my day-to-day. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, like, I go so hard on my workouts in the morning but I do that to myself because it's like I have to create a story in my head like you're gonna do something like really hard this morning because Um, once you do that like everything else is gonna be easier like you already went through like a really hard workout so why would why would doing this now be difficult or walking to this photo shoot or like just I don't know where I'm going with this (laughs) no you're doing great you're doing great. But I just don't want to... We can't live in that victimized... Not saying you're victimizing yourself or, or I am either, but it's it's hard because then you can get in that thought of 
like, man, it's just, I really lost my son. And then people were like, everyone always has something hard going on. So yeah. we all have something going on. Yeah, of course. Yeah, everyone does. But this is our story, and that's why we're sharing it. So I just, I'm going to be honest, Absolutely. I just feel, don't put this in the video, but I just feel like, like spectators. Like, that's all I could think of right now. I feel that. No, that's all I could think of right now. So that's why it's a voice saying you, can't, you don't speak. Yeah, that's so really it's trying what to I shut feel. you. It's trying to that voice is trying to like shut you down. So I would I would not. I would try to get. How about this? I'm gonna help you out while while you while you get in a better place. With like, I don't want you to feel like you're struggling because. I think you're doing beautiful. This is this is great. I think this is good now. It feels organic. Yeah, no, it feels. We're kind of messing up, but it's okay. No, it's just like the self doubt. Not even self-doubt. You, I believe self in myself. Doubting? It's just like, I just feel someone like looking at me on the other screen. Mm. And be like, dang, they still talking about that? Wow. And that's true. We may be still talking about it. We may talk about it another year or two. But in all truth, like, we're genuinely deep in our hearts working for this healing that we need to reach. I know... More children can help. I know getting closer to God will help. I know reaching more therapy will help. I know uh, getting around more community will help. I know there's so many different ways will help. And we've done it. Vitamins. We've done it. We've done it all. God is the only answer. And that's it. Don't right, step let out. That, <coughs> don't let that voice stop you. Because there's something you have... By the end of this video, there's something you have to say that's stopping you. That's what that's that's what I think. Okay. That's, that's a possibility. Yeah, you are right. But if you want to give yourself time, go for it. Or we can stop. There's options. So you know I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap a song real quick then. Okay. Will that like kind of get you take a little deep, a little breather? No, I think I'm ready to go now. Oh, cool. So no more songs. All right. You can do it. Okay. Well, <laughs> we're going to probably roll this whole thing through, but I do have a song that I, well, a rap song that I wrote about grief. I don't know if I'm going to post, and I am, I'm going to post it. I need to be confident about it. I'm going to post it, but towards the end of the video, so stay towards the end because it's about grief and I think we can all relate to it. Absolutely. Now, the question. Sorry. Yeah, you're back. <laughs> no, I'm trying so hard. And this is not me. I usually just go with the flow. And I'm still struggling. You're still okay. flowing. Oh, yeah, I'm still flowing because I'm still going. What is it that you're. I know bad. you say like the whole that. Yeah, that, like literally, I don't know why. But what are you. It just feels heavy. Mm. But well, I rebuke you, yourself, devil. Man. I rebuke you, devil. I rebuke you, devil. I rebuke you, witch. Wow. Okay, yeah, I know. The way we grieve is, like, s different and similar at the same time. Alfredo stays busy a lot. We said that. Occupied. We want to okay. hear about you, though. So, like, me, I stay busy. I'm, I'm just crack mode all day. Okay, I don't want to say that. <laughs> that just is go mode. Go mode all day. <laughs> I just go mode all day. Okay. You're funny. But we want to hear about you. Like, yeah, what? but that's just borderline. Like, that's just, like, surface level. We grief. have so much to talk about. There's like, so much. I think that's why I'm just overwhelmed. Like, Britsy has school. We yeah, got, I started um, school again. We've been... Britsy hasn't... Like, we've been doing some driving um, exercises. Because there's just so much to catch up on. Okay. We'll break it down. We'll break it down. Okay, grieving. I think we answered it. Yeah. I think the... Um, I guess I'm just... Sorry, I, I keep cutting you off. No, you're good. Just know that it is not always okay, and that's okay. But it don't always got to not be okay either, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I'm not trying to stay in the not okay all the time. Yeah. But I think there's always like a pressure in society yeah. to be like, okay, uh, I, I, I went through a loss. I lost either a parent, a sister, a cousin, an aunt, a 
sibling a kid and like society just you just feel the pressure of you okay you gotta get out after like six months you got it it's it's over okay like you already went through it oh my gosh you're like three years now and you're still in that no come on it's time there's always that pressure and to me like it's really annoying sure like i don't want to build a tent in grief either i don't i want to be genuinely happy and i'm sure everyone who has experienced grief wants to feel happy again they mm. want to live their life i don't want to build a tent i refuse to build a tent and you're not no i'm not i think i'm just like literally allowing grief to be processed mm. in me because for the longest i cannot you had to be grieve. strong i had to be strong i had no other choice than to be strong mm. i was forced by life to be strong and you're you can only be strong for so long eventually like you like you, we're human like we're not made out of no but that's real a robot you know because a lot of people in this day and age we're trying to look strong on the outside and the difference with you is you're not afraid to show your vulnerability and that's commendable that's mm. respectable because i haven't fully accomplished that which i do want to but it's it's still a bit difficult because not because not that we're trying to live like society but being that i am the man that i am and i say that confidently i just love to work yeah i can see that like i really do and because you love it yeah and yeah. i love what i do in my yes. work so it's it's really that uh, yeah, yeah yeah but it is is it's super command like we are so proud of you because like you really are feeling it like you're yeah. saying i'm gonna set real boundaries i'm gonna be hurt some you've been hurt throughout yes. your boundaries you have been hurt throughout what looks like a tent on the outside mm -hmm. on the inside you were just trying to build a home yeah and or i was trying to find peace in my home yeah so you're yeah. trying to keep it safe you were trying to just find that sanity and so that's that's good that you keep i mean you're keeping it real and yeah sorry i went on a little rant right there but it just like say more come on like as society like we need to see people's hurt and so we're not going to see it all the time because even myself um i have failed to see other people's hurt and it's like that hurts me that sometimes i can't meet someone there because out of my own triggers but that probably doesn't make sense but it does make sense you're saying that there's been moments that yeah like we've all been not selfish but just we think about we live in times now that especially now that we just think more about ourselves than anyone else right and that's not normal but it is something that mm. that's what kind of keeps us I, I guess at a distance because we're all so focused on that no one reaches out that nobody reaches out wow but going back to it is okay to not be okay but it also is okay to be okay like whichever truly. is the direction yeah and whichever day it doesn't mean like grief is such a long 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 journey like i'm telling you you're gonna be in it like you're gonna it's gonna be with you for the rest of your life and some days it's gonna be feel bigger than others and other days it's gonna feel smaller than others what do you think makes it feel bigger though like is it the the intensity of the struggle or of the pain that you had to endure is that what makes something more long or grief more longer or how is is it what do you think i mean i think for as long as so everyone's different right you, no i think as long as you live like you grieve but still everyone is gonna oh of course yeah everyone it's subjective yes it's people grieve differently yeah absolutely i feel like i did i said so much but didn't say anything at the same time same i think it's good okay is there anything uh a little encouragement you guys for marriages because i don't know why marriages has been so heavy in my heart um you know why it, yeah because it's it's been hard it's been hard on, on this us. end over here it's like, been really it's hard it's been hard on our grief yes um one thing i could say to marriages experience and grief is to 
literally hold on to each other but most importantly hold on to god uh we've seen that firsthand and we've experienced that literally nothing nothing means nothing nothing means nothing that everything is nothing without god including your marriage and including your marriage grief can literally tear it apart and all of the horrible things that you allow to come in can tear it apart but it is literally to hold on to each other and pray with each other that's something that we are still trying to do because let's be honest grief could do a lot of things it interrupts your prayer life yeah it interrupts a lot of things yeah but hold on to each other and don't give up on each other Thank you.